What did Roxanne Pallett do in the Big Brother house? Roxanne Pallett accused a fellow male house member, Ryan Thomas, of punching her repeatedly in the ribs to the point that she was too scared to sleep in the same room as him. Ryan, yeah. I've got a clean towel. I, my clean, I've got a little towel that I'm going to use. Oh, woman beater. And complained about the pain he inflicted on her to other house guests. He actually punched me like a boxer would punch her back. And we weren't play fighting, we, there was no... He wasn't banter, it wasn't a joke, there was no exchange. When Ryan Thomas was confronted by the other men in the house, he denied the accusations levied on him and protested his innocence. He went on to demonstrate what his punches looked like and how he plays affectionately like this with all the women in the house. In spite of this, Roxanne persisted with her claims that his action caused her to have very sore ribs that left her unable to sleep at night and even voiced her shock in the diary room about how Big Brother could allow somebody like that to stay in the house when she felt unsafe. Having confided in Ben about the events she claims took place, and often crying about it, particularly to the male house guests, the Big Brother household was at a loss in deciding what to believe about what actually happened between Roxanne and Ryan. To Ryan Thomas's relief, the chants heard by the house guests as Ben exited the Big Brother house was a clear sign that Roxanne was the one lying. Although, a few nights before, Dan was convinced that Ryan was innocent when Big Brother informed him that if Ryan were guilty, he would have been removed from the house already. Shockingly, or not so shockingly, afterwards, depending on how you view the state of Roxanne Pallet's mind at the time, after the chants were heard by the house guests and the truth was out, she continued to defend her actions by saying the punches did hurt her. She only decided to be honest when she left the Big Brother house on her own accord and did an interview with Emma Willis that she admitted to her lies and delusions. How can you get something so wrong in your head? How it felt when he did it, it hurt. I can't prove a feeling, no one can. The more I thought about it, it became heightened and I just felt, I convinced myself he meant to do that. Mm. And when I watched it back, the first thing I did when I got out was watch that. And immediately, I realised... But surely watching something doesn't change the way something felt. So then no. why suddenly do you have a different perspective on it? Because, if, it helped, yeah. if it hurt the same it did way, hurt. I'm not yeah. doubting that it hurt, as you say, only you know that. Mm -hmm. But if it hurt, it will always mm -hmm. hurt. Mm -hmm. So why did watching something change it? Because surely it's the same incident. What were the implications of Roxanne Pallet's actions toward Ryan Thomas? Viewers saw how Ryan Thomas was very clearly distraught by the way he was being painted in the house, and the subsequent treatment of the house guests towards him. He ended up crying in the diary room and in the pool, having had his reputation dragged through the mud. In his interview with Emma Willis after leaving the Big Brother house, he remembered feeling some type of way when Ben asked his mates if they wanted anything without asking Ben, and instead said that he wanted to talk to Ryan before leaving the room. With the revelation as to the treatment he was getting because of Roxanne's manipulation, Ryan started to feel very isolated. The impression he believed the house guests had on him was so stressful, he no longer wanted to be in the house. Has she done this before? Ridian Roberts, a musical theatre actor, was subjected to a similar treatment from Roxanne in 2013. He was set to perform again on stage with her in a Christmas Cinderella show in 2018, but feared being around Roxanne and having the same thing happen to him. Roberts gave the producers of the Christmas show an ultimatum that either he leaves or Roxanne does. This is when Roxanne decided to step down from her role in the Cinderella show. Danny Miller, her ex-co-worker on the TV soap Emmerdale, branded her a compulsive liar after news of the drama between Roxanne and Ryan was all over social media. Connor Byrne, who starred in Tracy Beaker, said, Sad to say, from what I've heard, I had a very similar experience with this lady last year. I've not seen it. Just had a colleague who witnessed my encounter where I was falsely accused of violence. Contact me and share the event. She doesn't care about anyone or any consequence, only herself. I've watched the footage, carbon copy of my encounter. Sam Atwater, who worked on EastEnders, recounted how he was accused of punching her while they were on tour together of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Instead, it was Roxanne who punched Sam Atwater and then ran away from him before telling everyone that he hit her. A fellow school pupil, upon hearing the news of Roxanne's lies, said they were bullied so badly by her they had to leave the school. This was 24 years ago before the Big Brother controversy. 
She was called out by at least 20 of her Emmerdale co-stars and chastised for years of lies and manipulation that she had subjected innocent people to. How did the Big Brother house react to the truth? When Dan disclosed to the other house guests that since Big Brother had not removed Ryan, he sided with Roxanne. The other house guests started to agree with the sentiment that it was not as bad as Roxanne made out. Dan and Ben found Ryan crying in the pool and reassured him that he would not be excluded in the house because they knew the truth. In light of the news, Hardeep made fun of Roxanne in his stand-up comedy session by mocking her and her husband. The house guests did not hold back in their amusement of Hardeep's jokes. Roxanne confronted Hardeep after concluding his comedy roast, but Hardeep justified his choice of material and did not back down. Likewise, the public found it ironic that Roxanne found a few jokes about her husband to be inappropriate, yet she found it appropriate to try and destroy the reputation of an innocent man. How did Roxanne respond when the Big Brother house found out she was lying? The saga of Roxanne's lies came to an end when Ben was leaving the house and the house guests heard the audience chanting, Get Roxy out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ben! Get Roxy out! Get Roxy out! Roxanne got a taste of her own medicine when she felt so isolated she decided to leave the Big Brother house. The other house guests were not surprised as they would not want to go out to booze from the public if they were Roxanne. As delusional as many would find this, Roxanne said in the diary room before leaving, I don't know what I've done. I heard chants outside saying, get Roxy out. And the majority of the house didn't want to sit near me. You think you've got friends and then they've gone. How am I going to get through the rest of this shit now Ben's gone? I want to go home. I need to be around normal people. It's awful to be sent to Coventry, to be isolated. It's not fair. This response is part of the reason why the audience felt that Roxanne believed her own lines, especially given that she knew the house had 24 hour surveillance. What did she say in her first interview after leaving the Big Brother house? Only during her interview with Big Brother did Roxanne somewhat admit she was wrong. That is, after she got caught, since she has been doing this for years without any remorse. She said that she got it massively wrong, even though she maintains that the punches were real, and that she did admit to deluding herself into believing it was more than it was not. If that made sense to you, explain it to me in the comments. What would have happened if there were no cameras? She claims she made a massive, horrible mistake. But as everyone who watched the way she targeted Ryan in the house would say, it was less of a mistake and more of a decision to try and ruin an innocent person's life. Roxanne Pallet consciously chose over and over again to lie about what somebody had done to her, saw the consequences it had on the individual and did not let up on her lies. It is justified, as a result, that people believe she was not remorseful for her actions or care about the damage she caused and would have caused had there been no cameras. If there were no cameras, Ryan Thomas's life could have got completely destroyed. His reputation would have been in the gutter and his mental state would be in tatters. Likewise, he could be in prison or at very least have a criminal record, just as Ryan feared when he stated in his interview that he thought police would come knocking any time because of what was happening. I said his life could have been destroyed because given how the public situation was, all the people who spoke about the lies would have placed a lot of doubt in our minds about the truthfulness of Roxanne Pallet's claims. Even so, we have seen exactly what could happen to those falsely accused of crimes they have not committed, without cameras and previous witnesses to discredit other Roxannes, losing their life to years in prison, having their relationships destroyed, and ending up jobless. In the space of two days, Ryan was already broken, and if it went on any longer, it would have had a devastating impact on his well-being. What did Ryan Thomas have to say after leaving the house? Like the angel Ryan Thomas has always been, in his interview with Emma Willis after winning Big Brother, deservedly so, he was willing to forgive Roxanne Pallet for what she had done and wanted people to stop giving her a hard time. 